Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today. I have a wonderful opportunity today to share with you a practice that I've been doing for a long time and talk to you for a few minutes about exactly what is yoga and why it's so helpful to so many people. When we engage in a yoga practice and look any of the practices of this wonderful methodology, what we're doing is we're learning to focus our attention. And that brings us into the present moment. Why do we want to be in the present moment? It's not always such a great place to be. Sometimes it's not so comfortable. But it's where life is lived, and it's really the only place we can ever be. And we really need to experience both the good and the bad and the challenging and the easy in order to round out our lives and have the impetus to grow and evolve and move forward. We all can sort of agree that it's been the difficult times in our lives that has has really enabled us to grow and move forward. So as we learn to focus our attention, more and more of our neuronal activity, the little neurons in our brain kind of jump on the train and get involved in that focusing activity. And what happens is the mind begins to quiet down. We can't really try to stop thought, but we can learn how to focus and be present. And it brings really greater contentment, greater joy, greater happiness. And eventually when the pond quiets down and we begin to have some insight, we can see deeply into the pond and begin to see the true nature of who we really are, there comes a wonderful sense of connectedness. And that's really what yoga is. It's the experience of connectedness, of boundlessness. So let's take a moment to get ready and we'll be... We'll begin our uh, couple of practices that will help uh, give us a, a kind of a short little window of something we can do every day that will help us to begin to learn how to concentrate and eventually lead us into meditation. So let's start with some breathing. That's something we all do every day. It's a great place to start. And what a handy tool when we learn to consciously breathe and pay attention to our breath, it brings us right into the present moment. I can be thinking about, you know, what I'm going to be doing next week or what happened last week and having anxiety about the future or some worry about something that happened in the past. But if I stop, take a breath, notice this beautiful forest around me and it brings me right into the moment there's I can I have a moment when I can actually touch peace I can touch joyfulness and then maybe in the next moment you know chaos breaks loose but again I can take a take a breath take a moment to just stop and settle so let's let's just breathe together so sit down come to a comfortable position sit in a chair you don't have to sit on the ground And let's just close our eyes and see if you can focus on your natural breath. Bring your attention, your awareness to your breathing. And just notice that you're breathing. Breathing in. I know that I'm breathing in. Breathing out. I know that I'm breathing out. And let's just segue that into taking some control of the breath and beginning to do what is called three-part yoga breathing. So we're going to breathe into our bellies, feel the, breathe up into the rib cage, and then breathe all the way up to the collarbones. And then as we exhale, we're going to let the breath descend through the chest, feel the rib cage contract, and feel the belly fall. And breathing in, Feel the breath rising up from the belly through the rib cage, through the chest. Breathing out. Feel the breath falling from the chest, through the rib cage, through the belly. And just do that on your own a few times. Just follow the breath. You might want to imagine a Ferris wheel. Imagine the breath coming up one side coming all the way up to the top 
and then going all the way down on the other side from the chest, down through the ribs, down to the belly. Really oxygenating your system, breathing up and breathing down. And breathing up and breathing down. Breathing through your nose, keeping the mouth closed. And we're going to use this same breathing, this same conscious breathing, with a little bit of sound. There'll be a little contraction at the throat, just like when you whisper. When you whisper, it's just like the wind in the trees, right? You whisper. And you narrow the throat down slightly. So if you can do that, like whisper with me an ah, an ah sound. You see that feeling you have in your throat? Okay, so now you're going to do that with your mouth closed. Now see if you can breathe in with your mouth closed. Make the whisper sound. Exhale with the mouth closed. We're really making an effort to breathe in and to breathe out. This technique is called ujjayi breathing in yoga, and it means to expand into victory, expand into joyfulness. And it does two things. It gives us something to pay attention to because we're making a little bit of a sound. You should be able to hear your breath as you do this. And it creates heat. And it begins to ignite the fire right here at the fire center, at the solar plexus, which is where all the toxins that are dislodged through our practices are burned up and incinerated, sent away forever. So bring your feet together or separate them slightly. We're just going to do what's called a sun salutation. And we'll modify it a little bit uh, just to make it a little easier for you to start moving through this. So take a big, same breathing we've been doing. Big inhale, bring your arms up over your head. And really lift through the thighs and lift through the belly. Let's do it again. One inhale. Oh, and exhale, bring your arms down. Nice. And again, one inhale. And now exhale, fold and bring your hands to your knees and bend your knees and just tuck your head into your knees. Round your back. Stretch out those back muscles. Okay, inhale, look up and extend the spine. Now you're going to use your legs, lower down, step back, come to what we call high plank. If you can't do that, put your knees down. And now as easily and using your arms, get some strength in your arms, lower yourself down to the floor. Good. Now point your toes, bring your hands back a little bit. Inhale, lift up, keep your knees down if you need to. Come through table, turn your toes under, and move into face, what's called face down dog. Take a few breaths here. And go ahead and push down on your heels and just breathe. Find a, a point to lock your gaze on so you're holding a steady gaze. Use the same breathing. Okay, look up and just walk your feet back to your hands. Waddle them up there. Good. And bend your knees. Exhale and tuck. Or you can have your hands on your knees. And now come back to standing. Reach up. Big inhale. Close your mouth. Good. Look up. Good. Exhale. Arms down. Good. And again, one inhale. And two. Exhale. Tuck. And three. Inhale. Look up. Lower down. Four. Exhale. Legs back. Put your knees down if you need to. Lower down to the ground. Point your toes, lift all the way up. Don't hang, come all the way up. Push through table and go into down dog and push back. And just hold for a couple breaths, push on your heels. You know, keep the elbows soft, don't lock out your elbows. And then look up, bring your feet back to your hands, hands on your knees. And extend the spine. And now exhale, round the spine. Now inhale, come all the way back. Exhale, arms down. Now you're going to turn sideways. Long way on your mat or on your floor. And turn your right foot out and your left foot in. And squeeze this thigh. So pull your belly in, lift up, bring the arms up. Big inhale. 
Exhale, bend to the right. Take your shin or your ankle and now rotate and look up at your left hand. Really try and pull back on that left hip and breathe. Take a few breaths. Keep your mouth closed and keep that breath going. Now push off. Come up on the inhale. And very mindfully, just reverse your feet. So you're going to turn the right foot in, left foot out. And big inhale again. Exhale, bend to the left side. And go down as far as you can. Squeeze that left quadricep, your left thigh, and rotate. Take that right arm up in the air and breathe. Mouth closed with sound. Inhale, push off, come back up again. Square off your feet. And step back to the top of your mat. Good. And let's do side angle. This is called extended side angle. So you're going to go a little bit wider. Be brave. Go ahead. You can do this. Turn your right foot out. Inhale. The arms come up. And now as you exhale, bend that right knee. Let's stand back up again. Inhale. Close your mouth. Exhale. Bend that knee. Inhale. Come up. Exhale, now let's go all the way down. Take your elbow to your thigh. Swing this arm through and really reach with the top arm. And take three breaths. One, two, three. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reverse. And if you want to see this from the long way, let's look at it this way. So turn your left foot out, your right foot in. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, bend. Good. Inhale, up again. Exhale, bend. Once more. Inhale. Mouth closed. Exhale, elbow to your thigh. Swing this arm down and through. And reach. Put your strength into it. And just tuck your chin into your armpit. Breathe. Try not to fidget. Inhale, come back up. Exhale. Step back to the top of your mat. Nice. And let's go into a posture. Let's do a balancing posture. So work on our balance. You might want to step off your mat. Can we do that? So it's a little easier to balance. And find a gazing point. Find something you can gaze, gaze at that isn't going to move. And see if you can bring your right leg up. And just use your breath and balance. You want your ankle right under your knee. Lift the belly, lift the sternum, breathe. And if you can, and if the wind doesn't blow me over, pull your knee into your chest. Ah, breathe, shoulders back. Exhale down. Good. All right, same thing, other side. Bring the left leg up. Find a drishti or a gazing point, breathing. Use your breath. Try and grab that knee. This is so great for your low back. Touch down if you need to. Bring that knee. Pull that knee into your chest. Use your arms. Stand up tall. And exhale back down. Back onto your mat. Let's go into fierce pose. Again, another posture great for your low back. Great for strengthening your thighs. Bend your knee. Try and press your palms together. Breathe. Breathing with sound, taking your hands to the floor, look up or hands to your knees, whatever is easier for you. Go down, put one knee down, the other knee down, take your legs back, come into high plank if you can, knees down if you need to, lower down, come to up dog, come to down facing dog. Let's come through and sit. And bring your legs straight out in front of you. This is, this is called stick pose. So you want your thighs engaged, sternum lifted, arms at your sides, gazing straight ahead. Now take the hands back. Now see if you can push down into the mat and lift up. You don't have to go very far. Just This really opens the heart. Great for your spine. Hold the belly in. 
exhale down. Give yourself a hug. Bring your right leg up. See if you can get this ankle bone right on your thigh. Now, if you're a runner or an athlete or you're tired or you're a cyclist or a runner, this might be really hard for you. So then you can just put this foot right in here. So hang on to, hang on to this ankle and use this to really get lift and sit up tall. Keep this leg strong. Breathe. You know, and as you're going through this, as you learn this little routine, go ahead and change sides. You can spend more time in the postures. So remember, you're either here or you're here. Hang on to that ankle. Don't, don't worry about pushing this knee down. It will eventually open down. You can use your abductors to kind of take that or these muscles on the outside of your leg that, that open the leg down. Just sit up tall, find a gazing point, try and come to stillness and just breathe. Nice, big inhale, exhale, extend out. Let's bring both feet together. Okay, if you really feel like you're sitting like this, you might wanna take your handy little cushion and put it under your butt and it's gonna give you some elevation and enable you to pull this in a little better, right? If that isn't, you might feel a little wobbly, but if that, if this is easier for you, then you don't really need the cushion. So let's get rid of that. Bring your feet together. And just, again, sit up tall. Work on extension. So much of what we do in life is about this. Shopping, working at the computer, driving, cooking. And so we really are working to strengthen these muscles in the middle back that keep us in extension. Breathing. Mouth closed. Steady gazing, steady breathing. Nice. And let's go from here. Cross your ankles. Can you roll over? Walk your legs back. Come into high plank. Lower down if you can. Put your knees down if you need to. Lower to the floor. Point your toes. Come into up dog. Remember, really important not to let yourself hang. You've got to come up and use those del these deltoid muscles. Great strength work for your arms. Push back. And let's go ahead and just stay down. Lie down on our tummies and do a little back therapy here. Arms back along your sides. Take a breath. And then just go ahead and push down with your arms. Raise your head, shoulders pin back, raise the legs, spread out your toes, pull the belly in and breathe. See so if you can hang for a couple more breaths. Slowly lower down. Bring your hands into position to be able to Come into up facing dog, pushing back into down facing dog. And you might want from here to go into pose of the child, which you can do with your arms out and take your arms back. I like doing it out here. Nice shoulder stretch. So from here, let's come up on our knees. Let's do one more back therapy posture. This is actually called Ustrasana or camel. So a good way to start learning this is to just put your hands on your low back and just press forward, hold. Really think about pulling in with your belly and really tucking back. Keep your chin forward. Another variation for this is to sit between your feet. Now this is not easy for everyone. Now, if this bothers your knees, you're going to have to sit on a pillow um, or a block, but you might want to put your hand, but if you can get to, even if you're sitting on a pillow, if you can get to here, put your hands on the floor behind you and just press up here. 
Get a wonderful stretch in the front of the body, opens the heart, counters the sort of degenerative tendency of our thoracic spine, the middle spine, to round as we get older. We don't want that. We don't want to look 90 when we're 50. Okay, so I think we're just at about the point where we can start to wrap this up. You can get ready for your day and feel a little energized. So I would say come to sitting. Again, sit on a cushion if you like. That'll. When you sit, you really want your knees lower than your hips. So you can sit in easy pose, which is just cross-legged, or you can sit in half lotus. Just find something that's comfortable. Let's do a couple of those breaths we did right at the beginning. So uh, stretch out your arms and just lower them down onto your knees. And you can curl your forefinger under your thumb, or you can just sit with palms down, lift the sternum. Let your gaze come right off the tip of your nose at a little spot in the floor in front of you. Let's return to that three-part breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. And do a few more of these and really feel like you're open to the world. Now you're ready to begin your day or continue your day or end your day wherever you are in your day. Feel grounded and connected to the world around you. That's the whole objective of yoga is to bring us to the experience of connection. And as we learn to pay attention, you see all the things we did today. We had focused our gaze. We paid attention to our breath. We paid attention to alignment, to muscles that were contracting, those that were stretching. That's all training for the brain. This isn't just training for the body. We're training the mind to pay attention. And as that happens, the noise begins to quiet down. As we become more conscious and more aware of what's going on, our, our circle of compassion begins to expand beyond our own backyard and we begin to take in the world around us. It's a wonderful feeling and we, it leads us to the realization that all there really is to do in the world, and it's a lot more important than this collecting stuff, is to really be of service to our planet to the world around us. So let's take one or two more breaths. Just feel yourself grounded and connected to Mother Earth. And as you inhale, connected to the space around you. Take out your cushion. I hear a little critter running through the woods there. It's, it's a wonderful place here at Omega. You really are right in, the, right in the forest. Birds and the wind and the breeze. Go ahead and lie down on your back and bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug. Maybe go side to the other side and back to the center. One more hug. Stretch your legs out, arms at your sides, palms face up, eyes closed. And let's stay here for a few minutes. Stay here for at least five minutes, as long as you can. And we're going to end this short practice for you, be probably before you get up. But don't feel like you have to rush up. You know, just listen to the sounds around you. Wherever you are, whether you're in the city or the country, whether it's early morning or late evening. The one wonderful thing about yoga, sometimes it's not so wonderful, but yoga only works if you do it. So thanks for being here with us today, and I hope you have a chance to, to do all the wonderful yoga practices. Not just movement, but breathing and meditation and just learning to pay attention will make you happier in your life. Namaste.